Although the Calculator Functions class works, it could be a lot easier to use. Rather than setting two properties in order to perform calculations, you could make the numbers into arguments of each of the methods. By using arguments, you can make methods accept values when they are called. You'll change your mathematical methods to use arguments in this lesson. To begin, open the My Project sample file from your sample files folder. And open calculatorfunctions.cs. Next, remove the first number and second number properties. Since you will be providing these numbers through arguments, you don't need the properties anymore. Some errors appear when you remove the properties, but you'll deal with these in the course of this lesson. We are now going to change all of the methods to require arguments. For the add method, change the line that starts the method to public void add double first number, comma, double second number. This makes the add method ask for two double variables called first number and second number when you call it. Since the arguments have the same names as the properties you just removed, you don't need to make any further changes to the code. Next, add arguments to the Subtract, Multiply and Divide methods in the same way so that there are no more errors. I'm going to do this by simply copying and pasting the arguments from the Add method. Since you've changed the add method to require arguments instead of using properties, you'll need to change how you call it. Open the code behind file of calculator.aspx. Some of your code is marked in red because it is no longer valid. Remove all of the code from the button calculate click event handler. and replace it with the following. Double first number equals convert dot to double text box first number dot text double second number equals convert dot to double text box second number dot text. This will create first number and second number variables containing the numbers that were entered by the user. On the next line, add the following code. Calculator functions functions equals new calculator functions. This creates an instance of the calculator functions class called functions. On the next line, add the following code. Functions dot add begin brackets first number comma second number. This calls the add method with the first number and second number variables as arguments. To output the result, Add the following code on the next line. Label result dot text equals functions dot result dot to string. The majority of the methods in the dot net library require arguments. Some of them can even accept multiple sets of arguments. This is called overloading. The to string method is a good example. 
You can use toString on its own to turn something into a string without any arguments. You did that here with the result property. However, to take a date time as an example, you could use dot toString yyyy to convert the date time into a string containing just the year. However, you could also use dot toString yyyy comma system dot globalization dot culture info dot get culture info fr hyphen fr. This would get the year from the date using the French format, which would be the same as other European formats. When multiple sets of arguments are available, you will see these arrows in the IntelliSense menu. You can click on the arrows to cycle through the different groups of arguments, or you can use the up and down arrow keys. Creating your own overloaded methods is covered in the Expert Skills course in this series. View the page in your browser now. Fill in the boxes with numbers, and click the Calculate button. As you can see, the calculation works correctly using arguments. Close your browser now, and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 6-6 Create Methods with Arguments.